Sure. Well, thank you very much, uh, John, and uh, thank you all for coming. And let me first of all uh, sort of thank St uh, Stephen, of course, for the introduction. Uh, but generally, I think the growth team uh, within DFID, uh, uh, which, uh, which also involves uh, John Piper, who sits there uh, um, in the DFID team, for uh, within DFID. And I hope that at the end of uh, this meeting, we will all be friends of Stephen and, and John. Um, but let me for, uh, talk about um, uh, the content of, uh, uh, of the call. Um, you may have already had a chance to look at uh, the website of the ESRC and um, uh, uh, where you can download uh, a, a number of documents, uh, including the course specification. And um, um, within it, there are uh, a number of, uh, of themes uh, that, um, uh, where the, uh, the ESRC likes to commission uh, research. And uh, we're going to run through those um, in, the, in the coming sort of 20, 30 minutes. And uh, so we've got three, uh, three researchers um, doing that. I'll talk a bit about the general research, uh, how, how we scoped out the, um, uh, the questions. Um, and then I'll talk in, in, uh, on the innovation theme in, in more detail. Um, and then um, uh, intro introducing the finance uh, theme and handing over to, uh, to Professor Helmut Reichen, who's come over from Germany specifically to, uh, to talk, um, uh, talk to us about uh, the uh, sp specific aspects on the finance uh, call, and, uh, and then Steve Wiggins will talk about agriculture. Um, right, okay, so um, thinking about um, uh, research questions uh, within, the co uh, within the call, we, need, we of course need to go through uh, a whole range of activi uh, activities, um, and, um, and the directorate has helped uh, DFID and ESRC uh, going through this process, and um, it has involved a number of things. So first of all, we need to be uh, understanding uh, the cutting-edge academic research on growth in uh, low-income countries, but particularly with, uh, with relevance to the themes on uh, innovation, agriculture, and finance. Uh, we also uh, uh, have to think about the, um, uh, the policy needs. What are the policy needs in this area? Um, and making sure that those questions uh, that are in the call are, uh, are have the potential to, to influence uh, uh, the policy debates. We've also, uh, uh, and, and Stefan has helped us uh, talk through already, understand, need to understand the, the funding landscape for, for growth research in low-income countries, so that there are different programs uh, on growth highlighting different aspects um, uh, of, uh, of the growth process. And in doing this, we've had uh, a number of consultations um, uh, with academics, with, uh, of course, ECC and DFID, we've uh, lots of discussions, uh, and also other stakeholders. We've attended workshops, we've presented at workshops, um, and uh, so I've gone through a range of consultations. And of course, we need to say that it also builds uh, very much on the first call specification, in which uh, uh, I personally was also, uh, have also contributed, um, and there have been a range of, uh, of workshops uh, uh, that has specked out the, the first call. And uh, so an elaborate process on which, we, on which we're building. So, um, so it's basically a process of a, um, uh, of a number of years, uh, really, that has, has gone into uh, scoping out the research questions. Um, um, so it's not just a number of individuals who've done this, it's, it's a whole process. Very good. Um, uh, so let's talk about the, um, the innovation uh, uh, theme. And here we, we really highlight two issues. Um, the, um, uh, first of all, um, we, we, are, um, uh, we, we need to be thinking about what is innovation um, and uh, in, where does it happen, uh, how does it happen, but in particular, um, so what, what, what is innovation, um, and, and I'll talk a bit more on that in a, in a minute. And secondly, what is of course of importance is to, uh, for, for, the, for the policy uh, debates is, is how can you foster um, the, the spread of innovation, and um, how, how can you how can you um, uh, promote innovation? How can you foster the spread of innovation in uh, low-income countries? And there uh, we'll be thinking about different aspects of this. Um, on the one hand, you can think about uh, making sure that incentives are right, that there's enough competition uh, amongst uh, amongst players, and, and, and um, uh, a lot of uh, innovation is happening now in in, in, uh, in the private sector, including in, in low-income countries. Um, so that the incentives are right um, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to get innovation going and to spread innovation. So that will be to relate to addressing governance failures that, uh, that, the, government, that the government helps out. Um, 
But secondly, uh, maybe uh, there's something that, um, that the, the, the state or some institutions can do more um, uh, than just getting out of the way, in, in, and that they can actually help to, uh, to promote uh, innovation and, um, uh, and that uh, in various ways uh, that they can build up the right um, uh, uh, institutions uh, and policies and incentives to promote um, uh, innovation and the spread of innovation in low income countries. And, uh, and as part of this, we're highlighting a particular uh, gap in the literature uh, which is related to the, the services sector. We actually know very little about the services sector, um, uh, innovation in the services sector, but also how the services sector uh, actually affect innovation in, in, in other sectors. So if you go into detail about the questions, um, the, the first question is, is really about is addressing this, about what do we know about innovation? What, do we know uh, how it happens, where it happens? And there is a, there is a, a debate going on within, uh, within, within this, this area, um, particularly in the last five, six years, that um, um, uh, or has re-emphasized this area about, uh, about structural change. Uh, of course, it's a, it's a very old area, uh, structural change. Gustav Rani started it decades ago, um, a lot of debate. But it's been hi highlighted more recently, uh, particularly with respect to, uh, to uh, poorer countries um, and, uh, and also with much more uh, better data underpinning. And thinking through, does innovation happen within firms? So is it through upgrading uh, within a firm, better uh, management practice and so on? Or is it uh, through entry and exit within, within the sector? Um, or is it actually that productivity change, structural change happens um, uh, through large structural changes from one sector to another? And we need to know much more uh, on this, and that's of course relevant for um, uh, so the dynamics on innovation is very relevant for, for policy. Um, then secondly, um, and a, a key question, um, and there, there's a range of sub-questions under this in the call, uh, is about uh, the role of, uh, of competition. Um, in, product, in, in, in product and factor markets, um, whether that leads to, to innovation and, uh, and productivity. Um, and um, there are a number of areas that needs, need research within this, including whether sort of uh, competition to, uh, well, external competition, exporting, uh, external investment, whether, whether, whether it helps uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, to uh, stimulate innovation. Um, um, and. Uh, um, so that's, that's one important area, uh, question that we're asking. So can you do think about um, ways of, uh, of measuring comp uh, competition and, and sort of seeing then uh, whether, that, uh, whether that stimulates innovation, and what are the pathways to which that works? Um, and then um, uh, on the other side, we, we then want to think also about um, the, um, the role of more, uh, more specific uh, policies and institutions, and whether there is a role for more specific uh, policies and institutions to, um, to, to help uh, foster productivity change, and particularly also productivity change that helps uh, to create employment. Um, and what characterizes um, uh, productivity enhancing institutions? And we've had, uh, there's been a debate on this, um, uh, yeah, sort of market failures, uh, uh, overcoming market failures, how do you do that? Uh, so a number of authors have, uh, high profile authors have, have contributed to this debate. Um, and more recently, there's been a, a sort of a renewed interest in the, in the role of the, of the state, but also in the role of sort of inclusive institutions in, um, in, in, in stimulating uh, innovation. And so we'd like to know much more on, 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 um, on, these, um, uh, on these sort of questions. And finally, uh, in terms of, um, uh, of the innovation uh, part, um, we're highlighting a, a particular gap uh, in relation to the services sector. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's um, even within developed countries, it is, uh, it is ongoing, the research is ongoing, um, and uh, it's a very tricky area about measuring uh, productivity within the, within the services sector. Um, data issues are, of course, a problem everywhere, and we need to make sure that we, uh, that, that you as researchers, uh, think, think through uh, the, the challenges related to data, uh, and that's particularly challenging within the services sector. Um, but there, uh, do we, what do we know about innovation in the services sector? How does it happen, um, and how does the services sector relate 
to the performance in the service sector relate to, to um, other sectors, uh, the industrial sector, and of course also the other way around. Uh, how does the industrial sector help uh, um, promote the service sector? I think Maureen will also talk more on, the, um, on that input within our own call. So these are sort of the areas that we, um, uh, in, in sort of very broad, uh, from broad brush, um, uh, that are very important. But of course there are lots of sub-questions under this, and um, um, so um, we, can much, we can discuss in more detail um, whether something fits it within this, and it's, they scoped out quite broadly uh, as well. Right. Um, I just uh, introduced um, the, the finance theme, um, uh, one slide and then hand over to, um, to, to Helmut. Um, I suppose the, uh, on the finance side, uh, the, the thing to emphasize here is that, uh, particularly when we look at the first call and, uh, and the response to the first call and those projects that have been, uh, have been successful, um, there have been a number of uh, successful proposals in the area of agriculture and innovation, but far fewer in the area of, uh, of, uh, of finance. And that's a particular area that we'd like to, to highlight. And, um, and of course, I mean, I suppose over the years, particularly in the, in the 2000s, uh, we thought maybe finance was fine and uh, it, it, it can take care of itself. And, uh, uh, but of course, there's a lot that ha happened over the last decade in the area of, uh, of finance research and Helmut will highlight some of those. Um, and um, um, here we, um, we approach it from, um, uh, the call approaches it from a number of uh, perspectives. Um, First of all, it acknowledges that um, uh, that financial sector development needs to be managed to achieve a number of uh, uh, of goals. Sometimes mutual supportive, sometimes uh, they are uh, they are uh, uh, there are trade-offs amongst them. Um, but they are financial financial sector needs to be developed in order to manage um, and to avoid crises, financial cr uh, crises in the future. Um, the, the finance needs to be managed to support. A growth and structural change, the areas that, uh, that Stephen already introduced in the, uh, in, the, in the beginning. So again, structural change is an important area here. Um, but also, it needs to be, be there to, um, uh, to promote access, and access to, uh, to the poorer segments uh, within, uh, within society, the smallest firms um, and the most vulnerable uh, parts of the population in order to, to stimulate uh, growth. And finally, um, an important area that has come up more recently is to uh, in developed emerging countries, but also in, in low-income countries, is to, uh, to think through that, that how can you manage financial sector uh, to, uh, to, uh, to be counter-cyclical. Um, so the research questions within this um, are sort of in, in four parts. Um, first of all, there, is, um, there are a range of questions about um, the sort of the structural features of the, of the financial sector, uh, so the instruments, the institutions, and the markets. Um, that are critical to, um, uh, to supporting high growth and structural change uh, and access to financial services and financial stability. And there are sort of various debates in, within this area that, uh, that the call is linking into. Uh, secondly, an important um, uh, uh, question relates to the role of regulation and supervision of uh, financial markets and the role of public financial institutions and competition uh, in the financial sector for inclusive growth. And here again, there is a vigorous debate about um, um, the, the, the positive or the otherwise maybe negative role of, of certain uh, public interventions uh, within, uh, within, the, within the financial sector, and does it help to, to achieve uh, uh, growth and, uh, and stability. Um, thirdly, um, the area that I mentioned is that um, uh, there's increased attention now to thinking through what is the role of regulation um, to, ha to handle capital surges um, and, and, and large capital changes, um, and which uh, might uh, pose uh, systemic uh, as well as macroeconomic uh, challenges to, uh, to policy. And a final area is related to, of course, what has happened over the years, over the last five, six years, and a massive rethink is going on uh, within uh, the development sp uh, space, particularly when, when it comes to the financial uh, sector, um, and, and, and coming uh, from developed countries, uh, because they've had a big, big financial crisis uh, with a big, uh, big um, uh, impact on, uh, on, on growth, on stability, uh, on access. And um, the question is, is what lessons are there to be learned uh, for low-income countries to avoid those, uh, those type of crises? 
Um, I'd like, like now to hand over to, to Helmut, who will um, talk about a number of specific aspects uh, of, uh, of the call. Uh, and we're very pleased that Helmut Becky has come over um, from, um, uh, fr from Germany to do this. And uh, very pleased And Helmut has had, a, uh, I don't know how many, 10, 20 years of experience at the OECD working on, on capital flows. So go ahead, uh, Helmut. Yeah.